what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about jeepers creepers i guess i'll say five in this video here today and how it correlates to some comments coming out of this channel that's been blowing up lately and those of you who are familiar with all things jeepers creepers when i say the name of one person i know to be affiliated with the channel the name won't shock you and you might find that this person is fairly credible when it comes to things related to jeepers creepers considering that they had in hand in one of the films recently. So the Beating You channel has been blowing up over the past several months. I've been watching their videos. They've been doing a lot of big videos on things you didn't know about the Creeper, etc. Going into things about dairy and a lot of other things. But they recently had this back and forth with someone who left a comment over on their community page, I guess expressing interest in not or expressing interest in seeing a follow-up to what happened at the end of Jeepers Creepers 2. And I will say shout out to you. I'll call you Shaq. Just don't want to mispronounce your name, but I'll call you Shaq for sending me this screenshot. So here's what Beating You said. They said, never say never. The script for the movie you want is written and in the hands of a major studio. Who knows if they will greenlight the film, but it isn't over yet. This user goes on to say wow where did you get this news from and then they go on to say not significantly but we helped develop the script now of course obviously i think they mistyped some things there but they're saying they helped develop the script then they go on to ask what project has this other studio worked on if you're allowed to say then beating you says no clues it sucks keeping secrets i want to tell the world but keeping some sacred information guarded is why i get to know and truth is i don't remember for sure I'd have to go do some digging or ask. It wasn't that important to me, but big enough to make it happen. You've surely seen their name in intros many times. Keep the faith. It could seriously still happen. Now, beating you, this channel that's been doing all of these fun videos over the past several months, if you've been watching them, their name, I believe, I think they say it in their videos. Their name is Tom. Tom owns one of the screen used creeper trucks. Tom's truck was part of the production of Jeepers Creepers 3, if memory serves me correctly. So, Tom is someone I would say is who is fairly more credible when it comes to something reg regarding a future Jeepers project than some other people out there right now, of course. And not saying this means it'll actually happen, but if a major studio has their hands on a film that we want to see that script obviously involves it being 23 years later having the taggers back having trisha involved in some capacity one of the biggest questions i have immediately is is this the script that the creator wrote all those years ago and talked about it not i don't think he talked about it more specifically gina phillips talked about a screenplay that was written to be 23 years later takes place after the first three movies digs into what trisha has been up to over the past 23 years flashbacks etc i think she mentioned all of this in a interview shortly before or after jeepers creepers 3 drop so is it that script from that creator or is it based off of that script from that creator that some other talented writer has crafted and this is what the studio is sitting on and then of course the second question what studio I immediately, of course, go to studios like Blumhouse and A24, but I don't see them touching this. Then I start going to Shudder. Another thing that's on the table, of course, would be a studio like or a production company, I should say, like IFC Midnight or something like that. I just don't see any major studios getting their hands in Jeepers Creepers. And on top of that, how does this correlate to the ongoing lawsuit? If this is true, because as far as I know, the entity that holds the rights to the property is not a major studio. It's Infinity Films, which is ran by Michael Lohoven and whoever else is involved with Infinity Films. Michael Lohoven and the Lohovens have actually been in bed with the Jeepers Creepers franchise as early as that original film. So I don't really follow how this could end up being a reality unless there's something going on behind the scenes with the ongoing lawsuit in which the rights are actively being sold to another studio for whatever reason we'll just have to wait and see so 
if we were to pick a studio that I could see it being, I would see it being either IFC Midnight or Shutter. I don't see it being A24 and I don't see it being Blumhouse. Those are again are two of the more mainstream entities at this present stage and I don't see them getting in bed with this franchise. So you guys can let me know if you think this is true down in the comment section below. And again, Tom is someone who I could say is fairly credible and someone I would not say is just pumping smoke because Tom is someone who actively worked on one of these past recent movies, owns one of the, one of the screen use creeper trucks and would be someone I would say has a little bit more knowledge on the happenings of anything that's going on related to future Jeepers projects. And who wrote this screenplay? That's the other thing, of course. The big elephant in the room, who wrote this? Is it something of quality? Is it something that lives up to what people would expect to see from a movie that's 23 years later? All of that hopefully will be revealed in good time if any of this ends up being true. But like I said before, as far as I know, the only studio who has a hand in the rights of Jeepers Creepers right now is Infinity Films, and that's run by Michael O'Hoven. So unless Infinity Films is actively working to sell the rights, I don't see us getting a solid quality Jeepers film for some time because we know that the current ongoing lawsuit alleges that they are actively trying to produce a fifth film. So their fifth film, I would imagine and assume and expect because of what happened with four is going to be another cheap cash grab that while yes, I will cover I don't expect it to be of quality, and at this point, covering it would just be to make fun of it, to poke at it, and ultimately give it the bad review I inevitably would give it because these people don't seem to favor quality. They seem to favor anything to make a quick buck and make money off of a very popular, not very popular, but still a popular IP in a certain section of the horror sphere. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.